Come on, Warden, you need to do better than that. Knock knock, knock knock looks confused at your order and then without thinking, kicks Mongog again and admits a new set of howls. At this, the giant gives a delighted, booming laugh, spittle flying from his splintering teeth. One gob flies almost slowly twisting in flight to land directly on Knock Knock's head with a heavy spit, forming a phlegmy cap that drips down his face. The other goblins, once paralyzed by drink and fear, suddenly begin to laugh as well, pointing at Knock Knock until the entire building is filled with laughter. Knock Knock's ear drooped. Troop at the ridicule, but then he finally managed a half hearted chuckle until he's laughing as well. And the hill giant doesn't seem as angry anymore. It seems he's forgotten his hunger in the light of his disamusement. See if he'll, see if he'll leave now. Knock knock looks doubtful but shrugs. Squaring his chest, he tries to give a booming, rumbling command and then stomps his feet and nods outside. The hill giant glances in the direction and then turns back to Knock Knock, confused, and then points at the belly, and then points at Knock Knock. Knock Knock shakes his head frantically and then risks a quick glance at you. Ah, uh, Mongok not want to go. Food is here. Now he think me not hero, but food too. Hmm. Oh God. I don't want to attack him just because. I want to see what else is going to happen. <laughs> um. Keep trying, Knock Knock. There must be something you can say to convince him. Knock Knock thinks hard for a moment, one ear twitching, and then brightens. He gives a series of rumbling grunts, very quick in succession, and then spreads his hands out wide, and then spreads them high, standing on his tiptoes. After that, he settles back on his heels and pats himself on the belly with a mmm sound, which doesn't need translation. Uh, what did you do? <laughs> Mungog absorbs, absorbs his dolly and then glances at the, at the goblins. He gives a short, dismissive grunt and then glances back at Knock Knock and, and shrugs. And then, to your surprise, he lumbers out, club over his shoulder. Uh, what did you say to him? Just make sense to him with words like real hero. Sends Mongok to capital. Lots of food there and drink. And he have all he need to fill belly. Uh, excuse me, sorry, what? <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> um. What? Wh why did you do that? I not can so well, but hero good at chasing off giants means not no good hero, right? Ignoring him, pile of goblins are watching you as they sober up. The goblin seems ready to bolt. You catch long legs slowly uncurling himself from a pile, apparently ready to run. You do notice a number of the goblins are looking at Nodnok with a strange fascination. Dealing with the giant must have impressed them. Um, knock knock, deal with your tribe. Knock knock steps forward and gives a series of cackling hisses to get their attention, and all the goblins stare at him. After their eyes are on him, knock knock, his eyes narrowed, goes to each of one of them in turn and, and wraps them twice on their head. Hard. They wince, but say nothing. Except for one feeble groan from a goblin, more sober than the rest. Make great deal with you! You need to go bigger place, or I hit you again. I show you. Me, big hero. Follow me. Take you to new place. Goblins nod and begin to untangle themselves, but they are doing what Knock Knock says. Some of them rubbing their heads. Big hero, Knock Knock, take care of them. All good. Where are you taking them? Uh, capital, big enough. Yes, capital. All you go to capital. Knock Knock, command you. Go. The end of the barony just drew closer. Much closer. To your horror, the goblins scamper away, running in all directions, but toward the <clears throat> but toward the direction of your capital city.
Oh, well, okay then. Let's move the problem, shall we? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Oleg. Oleg, please let me in. Oleg. Oh, I want Knock Knock to solve this. I want him to show that he is the hero. I think that would be good for him. I think we're gonna go I'm back there. to the capital. What do you think? It might be fruitful. Can I leave? I can't leave. Or should I leave? Okay, hold on. Is there something else I need to do? I think I'm good. I do what I must. Oh, I can only leave there. Okay. That's fine. I'm off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is it again? Don't forget the mites and the kobolds, Sammy. Because... They are in our cult. <laughs> Don't forget our cults. Also, the trolls are gone now. Um, I thought I had a troll army, but apparently they are leaving now. I'm not I sure. Need to catch my breath. I know. Let's see how far you can make it to the capital. Oh God. <sighs> More strength fades. A little bit longer, we're kind of in a hurry. You know what? Solid. Go. Adventures can wait. Good. In due time. I'm not overrun by goblins yet. Okay, well. <laughs> See how long that lasts. Oh, I have no loot. Oh, I already sold that, of course. By the, uh, the skeleton guy. That is true. Okay, let's see what problems were resolved during our time away. And then we have to go to Octavia and Regengar's quests. The Technic League stuff. day for that so we'll do that as well what is this we have to deal with mungok and get him out of the barony by whatever means possible ideally without killing the mel melancholy giant yes no one is available <laughs> um okay let's see hey shabtai hi <laughs> Success. That is wonderful. Um, I need five more days. Yeah. I need five more days. Is there anything else I can do in the meantime? I 
I think. I don't think so. So rank up the economy is this, which we really no. We have this curse that we got to still and okay. So let's wait five days and then deal with this. <laughs> the fire? What? A terrible fire starts the settlements, consuming many buildings. No! That's 15. How about that? Okay. Disaster. Well, let's not do that's not do disaster. <laughs> Shall we? Uh, let's, let's not do a disaster. I mean He doesn't have a high chance of succeeding, but at least try not to make it a disaster. <gasps> what? Oh, I'm so surprised with you. I'm so happy, Rekangar. Wonderful. Okay. One, two, three. Nice. Hmm. With several new shrines to Desna and Naples for the barony, theft and robbery have become more frequent on the roads. Megangar, you deal with that. Oh crap. You have a 40% chance? No! No! And I only have. Well. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're dealing with that giant now. Um, and I need to be in the throne room. Ah. Hi, Octavia. Dolly, I have a big fish here today, a noble from Baroy. His clothes are worth hundreds of gold coins and his eyes are shifty. He has a business offer to make. He wants to open a leatherworking shop in our domain. No tan to, uh, to tan skins. These tanneries smell like Gobel's backside. This industry requires to use of all chemical components, which are carried by the wind and cause nasty diseases. Nobody, nobody's happy about these factories being in Bravoy, and that's the reason he's come to us. The offer is profitable, no doubt, but the smell that comes with it is foul. We must make a deal with the little man. Better to send him away in quickly. Um, that will teach the other money bags a lesson too. Just because you're stuffed with gold doesn't mean you're allowed to do whatever you want. Oh boy. Um. It's nice for relations though. I mean... Chat, what's your opinion on this? I, I I need more. I need more. <laughs> if I go by stats, I will I will do this tannery. But does it have any other consequences? Is this is this a bad thing in the future? Tanning, <laughs> what? Tanning smells so horrendous that it's ground for divorce in Jewish law. <laughs> Is that really true? <laughs> um, I I don't know about this. I mean, it makes money. That's nice, but the smell is it worth it? Hmm. Okay. 
I think we're gonna take the hit with this one. But then again, money. I do like money. This is so difficult. I mean, this means money. And relations plus two. Nope. I'm not gonna do it. We're not per voice dump. But let me find another place to put that trash. Oh, I do hate that dump. Perfect! We didn't save these lands, just turn them into a dump. Free from alchemical fumes, our people will live here happily and give birth to healthy children. I don't know if the fumes are that bad, but okay. <laughs> we'll see. Um, let's check one more time if we can do anything. And then I want to go... To the west. Oh no, to the east. Or east. Or east. <laughs> Sorry. To the east. Strong nation. What is this? The cost of buildings or whatever. Board college? What? Uh, yes? Rank up. Don't do that yet. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's true, horrific. We have we already have trolls, kobolds, and goblins wandering around. I don't think we need a tannery to um, add to the smell. <laughs> I do agree with that. <laughs> no, this is good. This is fine. Ah, we're doing good. I don't think we need it. Also, I have no room to build it anyway, so I probably won't build it. And then, yeah, no. We're good. Mm. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Oh wait, this is already a road. So Yeah no, I wanna I wanna go here quick. Go. Oh Joko, just you can think about it for for a while. If you have the points, don't worry. Just leave the points where they are and, and think about it. You have 160k cookie crumbs? Well just leave it, then I go for Jolly Mail. Yeah. I shall end this suffering. I mean, if you like mail, then that's the way to go. <laughs> Tear them apart! <laughs> not not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Consider uh, provoked. This will hurt. <laughs> Are we good? Okay then. Is knock knock like that wizard from early Baldur's Gate one? Um, you mean the evil one? I can't remember a goblin being in Baldur's Gate 1. Granted, it has been a while. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Auto save. Uh oh. Priest of Lamash too. Several figures, clad in dark clothes, stand before you. The darkness hides their bodies, and the hoods drape their features in shadow. 
Baroness Dolly. No fear, for your time has come. Uh, who are you? Great mother and sisters of monsters, Lamester herself called upon us to track you down and deal with you the way you deserve. Your deeds, which opened new hearts to Lamester too, didn't go unnoticed. You trembled and stepped back before the image of great mother, having left her children unharmed. The goddess graces those who fear her wrath and stay and stays their hand from her progeny. Oh God. You've let me go in peace. Allow me to spread my faith in these lands. For that I pray to Lamashtu and ask her to bless you. For you are true protector of her cult. Oh boy. Your mercy for children of Lamashtu and your protection of those who bow before Great Mother must be rewarded. The goddess herself revealed her will to us through the nightmares. You must give glory to the Baroness who honors the cult of Lamashtu and grant her the blessing of the goddess. Um... <laughs> um, keep it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Lamistu is called the mother of monsters and mistress of insanity for a reason. Her blessings can be far more terrible than any curse. Yes, Tristan, but I'm interested now. It's Reach. She is treacherous and spiteful, Dolly. Think twice before dealing with her followers. Are you ready to accept the gift of Lamashtu? Um, well, I, um, oh God. <laughs> um, 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 um. I, I, I mean... What does this mean? What am I getting? <sighs> I am kind of good. I'm kind of good. So what I should do is you offended me by suggesting I would take a gift from the evil goddess. Jewel death to the cultists. I mean, I, I, I could accept it and see what it is. Um, <sighs> I'm very curious. In fact, I don't care much about your strange traditions, but if you insist, bow before Great Mother and accept her protection. Oh boy. <laughs> As the somber chanting continues, the darkness gathers around you, thick and wet. It sticks to your clothes, your hands, and cuts your hair and face. The fluid gathers on your head like a crown and then flows almost molasses-like down your cheeks and your forehead. Then seeps into the corner of your eyes, eagerly, hungrily. As it touches your eyes, pain courses through you and your vision becomes black. And then a flickering of greys and whites like a thousand tiny insects were making knife cuts across your vision. Stepping back and rubbing your eyes frantically, you open them and realize now you can see in darkness, almost as if it were day. The pain in your eyes subsides, leaving only slight tingling behind your eyes. What? Oh, cool, lacing! <laughs> um... Um, what? I don't know about this. I can't remember what I said. I, I believe I should attack them. I, 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 I have night vision. I don't need night vision. I am so...
I I don't know about this. It makes me feel yeah. I mm -mm. no, I'm gonna redo this. Re Thank you for your gift. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, no. The thing is, I attacked them, and I left the statues. I think I le I left that. You know, just that's fine. Just don't bother me ever again. They're bothering me right now. And one of them escaped, and now they're just coming towards me. Like, oh, ah, you let me escape. I'm so happy. Let me give you a gift, you know. So I am. I am okay with. You offended me by suggesting I would take a gift from the evil goddess. Death to the cultists! We're going with that one. Freedom! I'm not happy with killing people, but... Yeah. Tear them apart! Not, not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Repent! Oh! What is that? Oh, good lord! Ah. Well. Sorry, Tana. Thank you for your stuff. <laughs> Murder! Okay, then. Hey, Bauman. <laughs> uh, oh, no. We're good. We're good with that. What is this? Oh, wisdom. I think we're good, though. I gave you intelligence. Wisdom plus two, wisdom plus four. Oh, yeah, go. You want that, right? Sure. This cloak of resistance plus three. 